Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today's Mass is being offered for Cecilia Nguyen Thi Hoi, Berto Alessio, and Ruby Dawinchik. As we enter into this sacred celebration, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon, peace, and healing. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith and hope and charity. And make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. My brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another. As God in Christ has forgiven you, therefore be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But fornication and impurity of any kind or greed must not even be mentioned among you as it is proper among the saints. Entirely out of place is obscene, silly, and vulgar talk. But instead, let there be thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no fornicator or impure person or one who is greedy, that is, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things, the wrath of God comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore, do not be associated with them. For once you were darkness, but now in the Lord you are light. Live as children of the light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Behave like God as beloved children. Behave like God as beloved children. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or take the path of sinner's tread or sit at the seat of scoffers, but their delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law they meditate day and night. Behave like God as beloved children. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in season, and their leaves do not wither. In all that they do, they prosper. Behave like God as beloved children. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff, and the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Behave like God as beloved children. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, 
And just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over and was quite unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are set free from your ailment. When he laid his hands on her, immediately she stood up straight and began praising God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, kept saying to the crowd, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured, but not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, You hypocrites! Does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or donkey from the manger and lead it away to give it water? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen long years, be set free from this bondage on the Sabbath day? When Jesus said this, all his opponents were put to shame, and the entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things that he was doing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There are a couple of instances in the Gospels where people are healed or delivered without their asking. And this is one of them. This woman didn't ask to be healed. She didn't approach Jesus. She didn't cry out like others would have, Son of David, have mercy on me. He just called her over and said, be free. He freed her. There's a lot going on in this passage. A lot. And one of the focal points is the Sabbath, the Lord's Day. That Jesus came to uh, recapitulate the Sabbath, the whole purpose of the Sabbath. What's the purpose of the Sabbath? The Passover. Right? Because that's, what, that's when the Sabbath started, is, is that on the seventh day you shall rest. In the beginning, the creation. And then it was uh, re-echoed in that Passover. The Shabbat, to rest on the... Well, Jesus came to redeem the, the Sabbath, or not redeem, I didn't use the right word, uh, he came to, yeah, reca- recapitulate, to uh, fulfill. That's the word. It's hard to fig- figure out words sometimes. I get stopped on words, but to fulfill the Sabbath. He is the Sabbath. And so he is the Lord of the Sabbath. And in the Sabbath, God's plan is to restore, to make whole again. Jesus desires us to be made whole. To not be under the yoke of Satan and rebellion. Because that's what St. Paul is talking about. Those who are rebelling against uh, how God made them. Those who are rebelling against God's commands. Those who are rebelling against what the Lord has called us so that we can be fully human, so that we can be fully God's beloved children. And so, as we see Jesus, the one who restores us, restores the right relationship with God and with one another, that we say those powerful words before we receive Holy Communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the faith is about healing, both physical 
but most importantly, our souls. So let's pray for God's continued healing to set people from the bondage of sin, from the bondage of Satan, and that we may see the Lord and, and be raised up to stand up straight and to be restored. Let us pray. We pray for the church, its leaders, and especially for the Holy Father, that we may all seek to do the will of God the Father and to obediently hear that word through scripture and tradition. We pray to the Lord. We pray for a world so in need of justice and peace we pray for an end to human trafficking. We pray for an end to abuse. We pray for an end to uh, war and oppression and terrorism. We pray for an end to religious persecution, especially persecution of Christians. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our country, Canada, that it may change from this darkness, uh, anti-life mentality, to reflect the dignity of all human life, especially in its laws, that the laws will change to regard the dignity of those in the womb and those who are dying, that all may happen in a natural way. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our family of parishes, for Our Lady of Sorrows, St. Anne's, Holy Angels, St. Mary's, and St. Helen's. And we also pray for those parishes that are being implemented as families of parishes and those who are preparing, that we may seek to have a culture of, that is developing missionary disciples. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the repose of the soul of Stan Decker Sr. and for the family who grieves and all those who are grieving at the loss of a family member or friend, that they may be consoled in their grief. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the intentions being offered at this Mass. For Cecilia Nguyen Ti Hui, for Berto Alessio, and for Ruby Dauhenyuk. We pray to the Lord. And finally, for all the intentions that we hold dear to our hearts that the Lord knows. We pray to the Lord. Loving and merciful Father, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, of Saint Joseph, Saint Anne, Saint Joachim, Saint Helen, and all your holy angels, by the power of your Holy Spirit, receive our prayers and grant our petitions according to your will. For we make them in Jesus' name, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Set your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald Peter, our Bishop Joseph, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy.
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lives with it, them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God. Let's pray. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. I invite you, if you please, on Wednesday, we don't have morning mass because we're having our staff retreat. Uh, a, we have uh, Deacon Keith Strom uh, zooming in uh, for us, so it's great, and uh, uh, he'll conduct our retreat. So I just ask uh, your prayers for the whole team, for the whole staff of uh, the Elgin Roman Catholic Family of Parishes, which is even a mouthful to say that title. Uh, but uh, thank you for your prayers on Wednesday. And uh, we do have the noon mass where the staff will be present for those who are attending uh, physically the retreat. Thanks very much and have a blessed day.